All right, everyone, as promised, we're taking this channel to the next forking level. No, that doesn't mean like a new camera or a new studio or anything. We're just on the subreddit, next forking level, which you said it was going to do for a couple weeks. God, why do you expect anything else from me? Jeez. This week's video is brought to you by the like button, which, yes, is code for I couldn't come up with anything else that isn't too redundant. So, hey, the like button likes when you like it. That's what it told me for the sponsor slot. A lot of the top posts of all time on this sub are protest related, and that's cool and all, but I'm gonna focus more on like the lighthearted, talent, uh, creative-based posts, and we'll check those out. So let's start off with number 19. Wifey and I dropped almost 300 pounds in the last year and a half. I was told to post this here, and you guys might get a kick out of the picture. This man's and woman's re-racks their weights. I can feel it. They're emitting strong weight re-racker energy. Congratulations for your health. That is a lot of mass to be down in a year, and I don't know how a person would have the self-control to cut their portions that significantly for that long and keep it that way, but good work. Latest from Boston Dynamics. All right, robots continuing to take over the world. Uh, I believe we might have seen this one on Black Magic Forkery or another subreddit, but you know, in case you didn't, robots doing gymnastics just we're that much closer to Terminators and Skynet. And just imagine once they have intelligence and you bump into them and they're like, uh, you know what, it'd be better if I eliminate you, puny human. Your goodness coefficient does not compute to be worth keeping you around. I'm terrified. Although delivery robots would be pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Next, forking level. Dad builds a custom adaptive controller so his daughter can play Zelda Breath of the Wild. So Ava, how is it? Is it good? Yeah? She looks very happy. Okay, this so is very, very wholesome. Look at those lights, dude. That's gaming. Gaming is about lights, boys. <laughs> to show your map, Ava. <laughs> Honestly, I want to play a freaking console video game with an awesome joystick board i don't know it's there's something about an arcade setup with buttons and joysticks that just feels like way cooler than using a controller because i know that the controller look it's it's a better setup for most things than the whole arcade layout with all the buttons spaced out that you have to move your whole hand to hit but i don't know this just also that's like a, a wild amount of memorization because those buttons don't actually seem labeled. So she has to like remember that entire button config, which pretty impressive. This, this dad is quite intelligent. She's just like zoning out on the game while he's explaining all this technical stuff. She's like, dad, can you just stop obstructing me? I'm just trying to play the game, okay? This is called Ice Cross. I'm in the yellow. What do you think of my sport? Ice cr oh, dude! It's on, oh my god, it's like the snowboard cross, except you're on ice skates instead. This is probably the most horrifying thing of all time. I'm just, yeah, no, no thank you. Is this sped up at all? It looks so freaking fast. I've seen footage of uh, this sport before, and it, it just terrifies the crap out of me. As someone who refuses to get on ice skates. Ah, let alone, like, do jumps on them. I am just imagining, because people must fall all the time, I'm just imagining taking a, a hit on your, on your butt. There are few things that are more displeasurable than when you slide out on your ass on a snowboard and you hit ice. Oh, because we'll have you'll 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 go and you'll try to do a heel edge turn and you hit an icy patch and you just hit you slide out and then you just boom. Ooh, this gaming rig. I actually I saw this. This is one of the posts that encouraged me to check out next forking level. And at first you're like, is this in a tr what do you mean gaming rig? Isn't he just in a truck parked behind a car? Oh, what? That's a screen. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Did. What I was wondering is, like, did the dude just straight up go to, like, a salvage yard and buy an old car and just cut the dash out and put it in front of him? And then, like, the Speedo is actually there. Like, it's working. The gauges are working. The rev counter is working. The Speedo, what the... I don't know how you retrofit the analog dials to work 
with the game. That's super cool. And I, I want a sim rig. I went to a place that's, you know, kind of in the LA area and they're right next to the factory that makes these simulator rigs. This, even taking the whole car dash here, would probably be much cheaper than one of the hydraulic simulator rigs, but even so, it would be fun, dude. This guy is an Asian parent's dream child. Congratulations, Dr. Johnny Y. Kim, former enlisted Navy SEAL member, math degree holder from UC San Diego, our Harvard Med alumni, for being the first Korean-American NASA astronaut to embark on assignments to the space station, Artemis miss missions to the moon, and potentially Mars. Is there anything that he hasn't done? Like, just asking. Imagine all the people out there who like, you know what, I'd totally do a Mars mission. What do I have to do to qualify? Who am I up against? Oh. All right, you know what, never mind. I wasn't gonna wanna sit for years in this spaceship anyway. Taking the extra time to make this fan's high five a memorable one. Is he, is he just slow-moing it? This, okay, the video is not slow motion. I mean, this is <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters jobs are to be showmen, right? Nice. <laughs> That is a truly next forking level high five. Next time someone goes to high five me, I'll definitely do that. Uh, 100 drones giving a light show. Bro. I, this, this is the future. This looks like CG, except it's real. God, like how, how do you freaking, how do you even do that? Oh, it's so crazy. The fact that you can just, go into a computer program and program out in three-dimensional space how you want these drones to line up in the air and then they can, whether it's by pinging off each other or through GPS or whatever it is, they can align themselves to that and just perform whatever animation. That's so cool. That's so cool! Oh my god, dude. And then it could just infinitely loop forever. You should have put this on a tripod. For, okay, how do they even move that fast? How do their drones move that fast? I guess they're like drone racing things and they, they, they zoom, but it's just, they like the, the pivoting, how quickly they move around, it's like they have no inertia whatsoever. Man, technology, dude. He still smiles. Why, why have I seen this guy before? And it was like a real weird post. Like, what, what, what's he about to do? Are you gonna, are you making a well? Is he making a, well, where's the water source for the well? Oh, it's just a big, wow, that is a gigantic bonfire pit. If, okay. I, <laughs> Just maintain the smile while you're lowering the 200 pound meat into the fire pit, okay? Did they actually, did they actually do this just so that they could do a video about cooking this gigantic piece of meat? They dug out this entire pit, laid bricks, created this entire like in-ground pressure cooker or whatever it'd be called in this case. And wow, that is a lot of effort. The smile must have done it, really. That's the secret. I painted a banana in an aluminum container, oil paint on flat, but not rectangular panel finish today. Bro, I saw this. I saw this a couple weeks ago whenever it was posted. I had to like do digging because I was so mystified as to what the hell I was even seeing. It was like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's on flat? Isn't that, you, maybe you painted the banana inside of a metal container, but that's a metal container that you have there, right? And then, no, no, that's just, that's a canvas. The canvas is in the shape of the way this metal container is outlined. So like it has the rounded edges and it has this indent here. It's kind of curved, but, but that's all paint. It's just a canvas with paint on it. And it's like, I'm sure part of it is the angle at which the photo was taken, but he had to paint it for that reason. And I'm just like, ha how? How do you do it? It looks so perfectly reflective. It looks like it's reflecting the rest of the room. How did you do that? And also, why is it a banana 
in like a brownie pan. Who stores their bananas in a brownie pan? I want to know where you got the inspiration to begin with. This is a show made by a small YouTuber where he asks random people on the subway to finish song lyrics he encountered this woman, one blessed, finish song lyrics, period. He encountered this woman one blessed day. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Wow. Yeah, she's a good singer. <laughs> Keep going. Wow, you're really good. Keep going. I'm off the deep end. Watch his out She's got pipes. I'll never meet the ground. Wow. Crash through the surf. Shit, that actually is like straight up. If Lady Gaga just went acapella on the thing, the fact, like, the fact that it sounds that good just inside of a subway with no post, like, that is so on key. I'd even if it was set up, I'd still be giggling. I'd be like, "You're good." That must have taken a lot of practice. Oh, this one! I have seen this video before. I don't know if it was in a subreddit reaction video or not, though. But yes, this is the run from one stop to the next as fast as the train does it, which is very impressive. Um, but I. I <laughs> It shows one of two things. Either the dude's like really fast, or the train stops are just way too close together. And people on the train must be like, why do you have this, why don't you just, we didn't need this other one, like it's two blocks away. Why did you bother with this? It just creates an extra stop on the train. And this is annoying. So maybe this guy was super annoyed by that. He's like, I bet you I can run from stop A to stop B quicker. It's so stupid that they have these stops so close together. I also feel like if you were running that quickly inside of a subway station, this doesn't look to be the US. I feel like in the US, cops would tackle you. They'd be like, this is obviously mischief and um, you can't, no, <laughs> stop, sir. Sir, please stop. Also, did he hop the turnstiles? Because I feel like that's definitely another way uh, that cops would be like, uh-uh. That is, I mean, if you got spotted by cops, but. Very impressive. I hope everybody claps. I can't remember if they did. Yes, they did. The train started moving again so quickly after that. That is kind of nerve-wracking. Next forking level, GTA in real life. Okay, so this is like a five-minute video here, so we'll just look at a little bit of stuff here and there. I'm impressed. Is this like a drone camera? Or do they have a fancy jib? Or just some guy holding a gimbal way up high? I like it. I like the uh, body movement to emulate the NPC action. <laughs> also, this I believe is actually in LA. Uh, it very much looks it, and the plates on the cars do appear to be California plates. So it's just gonna be it's gonna be a montage of of these guys mimicking how NPCs walk, and then it's got it's got to be drone. It's impressive drone control to follow the guy around as if it's maintaining a third person camera. Are you actually gonna follow him as he drives his car away? Because that, that will be genuinely impressive and also potentially not legal. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how allowed you are to on public road follow a car around, but I guess they only went for a block there, so. Um, so. And then they go to the cutscene. <laughs> the NPC movement, the hover hand. They don't, yeah, you guys don't have much respect for the uh, lip syncing on the uh, video game NPCs, do you? Okay, we got another lengthy video here. Sleeping Beauty Proposal. All right, let's see if we can uh, jump to the good part.
I think that's supposed to look like her. She seems conf Oh, and that looks like him. I think she's very confused. <laughs> like, what's going on? This isn't Sleeping Beauty. I don't remember this. Is this dude an animator? He's got to be an animator. Okay, that's impressive. That was great choreography. Damn! How many times do you have to practice that one? That's impressive. It's a good thing I'm not particularly interested in getting married myself, otherwise this would be a lot to live up to. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, look at this effort. Good God, I don't wanna be like left in the dust, so now I have to do something impressive. But that's a lot of work. This guy grows a chicken in an open forking egg. Hold on, so. Wait, what? What do you mean he grows a chicken in an open... What is... What? What is... I don't even know what's happening here. What the... Is... Okay, so is this a fertilized egg? Or did he fertilize the egg with things that he's... Like, I don't know if he bought this at a grocery store? And then... And then fertilized after the fact? Or he bought a fertilized egg and then was like, you know, I'll just do an experiment where I cut open the shell of this fertilized egg and what he's this this man's become god he's injecting life <laughs> somebody find this man's he's in possession of syringes of 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 the actual the essence of life <laughs> what are they injecting into it and the response is essence of chicken <laughs> Pretty sure that's what they put in, uh, Top Ramen. <laughs> what the hell? This is terrible, oh my god. Well, oh god, he's like... Taking tweezers to a chicken in the... What? He's tweezing a chicken out of an egg? How did he know that it was ready? What? How did... <laughs> you skipped a lot of steps there. It just went from, like, egg chicken to... To full chicken walking around. What? How did you, did the, the microwave easy bake oven timer just like ding ding? And you're like, ah, oh, guess it's time to pull the chicken out. It's saline with calcium fortification as well as air holes, is apparently what he was injecting, which, aka, life essence. It's a video game item. Thanks for tuning in to next forking level. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like our sponsor, the like button. Subscribe if you're not already, and um, maybe there will be a playlist if we keep revisiting this. We'll see. We'll see you next time.